everybody. All right, I want to talk about picking accuracy for beginners and people that have been playing for a little while, but you're just finding yourself hitting the wrong strings. It is so common for beginners, and there is an, uh, there's a, a really specific reason for that. Now, I did a little bit of a lesson last week on this, and since have been seeing my students over Skype making these same mistakes, so I want to go a little bit more in depth and give a couple exercises as well to help out. Um, but the, the main concept and what everybody does, because this motion is like not anything that we ever do growing up, it, right? Nobody makes this, this motion doing anything at all. We're so used to, to kind of like a bigger, more, um, uh, more explosive motions, you know, whatever, whatever it is, swinging, swinging a baseball bat, that whole deal. So what happens with everybody is we're floating over the strings. Now, if I put my hand here on the strings, right, it's nice and relaxed. If I float it over, if I pull it up, and now I'm not touching the strings, I'm using these muscles to stabilize. And these muscles are larger, uh, and they're not able to just stabilize and hold and make the small motions that you need to pick the strings. It's very slight, it's very exact to be picking like that. So. What we need to do, and what I want to do, is I want to show you guys the anchoring methods that I teach uh, my students to help you. And it's going to start as like training wheels. Hopefully, it'll get into, uh, into a, a place where you're not really consciously thinking of these things. Because it's not always great to, to solely rely on these, and I'll, I'll, I'll kind of show you guys why as we get in there. But the first one, palm muting. If you guys have not done this before, we're going to take this part of our palm, and we're gonna kind of lay it like this on the top few strings, right? Maybe the, the sixth string to the fourth string. And if you guys notice, it deadens the sound a little bit. I can move it out here, and it completely does. So pull it back as much as you can, deaden the sound. And then what I want you guys to do is just, uh, just give me like a sixth string up and down, and then go to the fifth, fourth, and third. And I, I just want you to notice the difference. Now do it lifting up as you would normally do it. And you'll feel all of these muscles in here kind of tensing up a little bit to stabilize, right? So those, if there's, because if they start relaxing, your arm is just gonna fall down. So they need to tense up and stabilize. So we wanna get rid of that. So as soon as you put it down now, it gets a little bit easier. Now, don't forget when something, when I'm teaching these concepts uh, to students and it does, it is something that is going to make your playing easier. It might be difficult at first, okay, to make the changes because it's, it's, it's a change in what you're used to doing. So just go down the strings to the third string maybe. Then try sixth string, fourth string, fifth string, third string, just to get a little skip. And then just try sixth, third, fifth, fourth, just to, to, to move around. Um, and just feel how relaxed that is supposed to be. Okay, so uh, that is anchoring number one, is getting rid of those muscles by, by kind of palm muting. All right, now, when you're moving down, if, I, if I'm gonna play something like this, right, all the way down kind of that scale, you can see my hand moving gradually. All right, so I'm sticking, so now, um, what's really happening is if I move down here, right, and kind of that was our that that was our position. Just move it down, um, and you can kind of see where your hand is, and move it down two strings. Okay, so you can kind of see like wherever your hand is comfortable, wherever it's kind of lining up with that sixth string. Just move it down where that same part of your hand is now lining up uh, with the fourth string. All right, and then just give like a little like you know same exercises four down to one. You know, and then maybe like four, one, three, two. All right. Now from here, the, the problem with palm muting is it mutes the, the notes. So if I'm going to do something like this, right, what I'm doing here uh, is, is the second anchoring, which is going to be using, using our fingers um, uh, below the sound hole. But also a palm muting, but I'm moving my wrist back here, or um, my palm back here, so I'm not actually touching the strings anymore, but it's still giving me that anchor. I might not be utilizing that the whole time, right, for that whole run, but it's setting me up 
right, to, to, to get into that position, to get rid of those muscles, and then be able to move from there. So the, the reason that these exercises are great is as you're going through them, it, it, it can become a setup to then move out into whatever picking um, technique that you're, you're, you're using, rather than coming in from that hovering where you're using these muscles, and you're, the only way to gain speed from that and to gain accuracy is to use more of those muscles to tense, to stabilize even more, and that will not work, ever. It won't ever work. Um, you can't get faster using those muscles. If your idea also, because this does, this, this does stem into speed, is if you're playing and you want to go faster and your idea is more, tensing more, that is going to slow you down. Okay, you have to get more relaxed for those, for those runs. That's why this technique is awesome because it can get rid of as much, uh, 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 get rid of all those muscles um, as much as possible and only start you in with, right, the ones that you need to then lean in however you want and, uh, to get the sound that you want. Now the other um, method as well is I put my fingers down here. So sometimes I use both. Fingers down here and my palm, and then I'll end up going back and forth. That is not something that you need to consciously be thinking of, but I do want you guys to, to do these exercises and feel what it's like to do sixth string, fourth string, fifth string, third, maybe maybe go down that. That's a great exercise if you guys want to try it. Six, four, five, three, four, two, three, one bringing your, your, your wrist down gradually and anchoring right here, right? And then one, three, two, four, and getting rid of the strings so you can, you can hear my palm is back here. It's not, it's not on the strings. I'm able to kind of move this back and forth now. So you have your palm muting, right? And when you get that moving this back, Right? And, and forward if you want that sound, or back just to get that anchor going, all right? So that is what um, I want you guys to try with those exercises. So th that round one of exercises was the palm mute, just on the top four, and then move it down, and then the palm muting on uh, kind of like the, uh, the bottom four, so it would be, it'd be the fourth, third, uh, second, and first. Uh, then, so that was getting your palm you comfortable and then moving it down so whatever's lining up with the sixth string is now on the fourth string. And then trying that same idea, same with these down here just to see how that feels, see if you're getting more stability. All right, now letting your, your palm gradually move down as you're going through the strings. Five, four, three, two, one. Your palm is gradually moving down, and this is the, these two fingers down here helping you guide. And then just start getting comfortable with this moving backwards um, off of the strings and, and, and muting almost on the pegs, okay? And then doing one, three, two, for the skipping strings like this, five, four, six. That's great because that's going to show you where the accuracy is. Now, eventually, an exercise would be to do it on six, one, five, two, right? To feel those bigger jumps and how much you need to move to get them. All of this is just great for getting away from hovering over, which will never give you the accuracy and never give you the speed that you want, okay? Um, so I hope that that helped. It has been helping my students forever. So uh, let me know, guys. Let me, you guys are more than welcome to comment and DM me and just uh, let me know if, if there's something more you want me to get into or, or if you guys want to send me a video of you kind of going through the exercise and asking me if you are doing it correctly. So thank you, and I'll talk to you guys soon.